Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we have something very interesting to talk about. So two and a half months after the Mr. Olympia, finally, Big Ramy's coach, Chad Nichols, addressed the public, and he explained kind of to us what exactly went wrong with Big Ramy on that Mr. Olympia stage. So one week out of Arnold Classic, he explains what went wrong and what things they fixed for the Arnold Classic, why Big Ramy is gonna look better and do better. And in this video, we're gonna go over some of the things that Chad said. Obviously, it's a, it's a long uh, interview. You can watch it on Olympia TV YouTube channel. It lasts a little bit more than 40 minutes. So we're not gonna go over the entire video, of course. I'm gonna go over some of the interesting parts that Chad said, and I'm gonna discuss them with you guys right here. So let's start. Let's hear what uh, Chad had to say about big remy what went wrong with him for the mr olympia let's go here's the thing i haven't even really talked about you know what happened at the olympia everything that possibly could have went wrong i mean everything went wrong i mean we had a disaster with his posing we changed that around that was a disaster um he was late kind of coming in you know where i wanted him and so we're playing catch up the whole week when we were thinking about the arnold obviously we got some things that we need to correct we need to work on a lot of the things obviously everybody knows the leg issues the back issues the tricep issues all right all right so this is basically in a nutshell uh, the diet wasn't exactly on they were playing with that and it was a disaster as he says also the posing was changed in the last minute and that was a problem also chad acknowledges that big Remy has the issues with his legs with his glutes and with his triceps and with his back so as the video goes on he goes in more and more detail he really talks in depth about each of the issue and how they're gonna fix them for the actually how they they already fixed some of them for the Arnold Classic and what they can change for the next Mr. Olympia. He talks about the stem cell treatment and stuff like that. So in this video, we're going to hear exactly what is Chad's perspective on these issues. Before we get to that, let me show you what did they do differently for this prep, for the Arnold Classic, and why we might expect to see a little bit better, different version of Big Remy. We needed to kind of get back, you know, to the drawing board. So that's what we did. We went back. We kind of scrapped everything that we had done before because honestly, even some of the things that had worked, you know, in past years, 2020 and 2021 didn't work this year um, because the body has changed. We were dealing with some injuries and some issues. All right, so maybe we're going to see something different for the Arnold Classic because they changed their approach quite a bit, as you can hear. Uh, the things that worked back in 2020 and 2021 did not work for the Mr. Olympia prep because of all the injuries, of how his body has changed. And he did have quite a few of those injuries, so some things definitely had to be changed, and basically what Chad says is everything was changed, the entire approach was changed. Hopefully, this will result with a better looking, more fresh looking version of Big Remy. All right, now let's move on to the next thing that Chad says, and this one is very interesting. In this photo that you're looking right now, you can see a really big problem with those legs. You can see the, those horrible, really big holes. I don't even want to say dents in his quads. I would say holes because they are so enormous. Uh, and you can also see the, the, the problem with the triceps right there. And when he turns around, you can see like the biggest issue probably, which is his back. So now let's hear what Chad was thinking about these issues coming into the Mr. Olympia last year. I mean, I noticed them and I kind of got used to them because how they they were there from the get go. So they were kind of started off as an indention and then it became kind of a, a little bit of a, a kind of a collapsed muscle in that one area. Um, but you don't realize how much that breaks the line of how that muscle flows. All right, so even prior to the Mr. Olympia, Chad was aware of these problems, of these dents, and he kind of got used to them, as he says, but it turned out to be a big problem for Big Remy. Uh, now, what he could have done to, to change this, to reverse this, not much, really, but now he actually talks about the changes that they made between the Mr. Olympia and this Arnold Classic that's about to happen in a week from now. So let me show you what changes they made where he's at right now so he's had the stem cell done obviously that's not going to be something that's going to be 100 percent by the arnold um but there will be some key areas that it's noticeable in so i think the back is improved you know maybe 20 percent. i think it's back to where it was you know probably was in 2020 
um, tricep about the same. So I think those things are a little bit improved from this this last year at the Olympia. The big difference will be the legs. So everybody saw that he had the little divots and indentions in the legs. Those are completely gone. So those are completely gone. The lines are completely deep and lined up all the way to the hip. Um, so that'll be a big note, you know, noticeable change uh, in how he looks. All right, so that is definitely something very interesting. If what Chad Nichols is saying is true, if those dents in his quads are really gone, and his insertions are all the way up to the hips and he has like all the lines and his quads look much better if they don't look as bad as they did at the Mr. Olympia then that's kind of a game changer really that changes my prediction right now I have Big Remy potentially in sixth but if this is true then I have him higher however I don't know how true this is even prior to the Mr. Olympia, everybody was saying this is going to be Big Remy at his absolute best. And uh, Dennis James and Chad Nichols were kind of confirming that. So right now, Chad Nichols could be just hyping him up, you know, trying to bring the, the audience back to his corner, building up a Big Remy's confidence, stuff like that. This doesn't necessarily need to be true. We're going to see what it looks like on stage. We saw a couple of updates and these are not taken from the front. So you can't really get the idea of what his legs are looking like but again if what chad is saying is true then that kind of changes things the next thing that chad says is more believable it's about big remy's weight and this one is very interesting at least for me so i'm gonna show you this one let's hear what chad says about big remy's weight he's got crazy quad sweeps to begin with but it looks tremendously better now the big thing i think is also he's gonna be bigger so after cardio, this is yesterday. So after cardio yesterday, I guess it would be today, um, he was 310 pounds. So that was after fasted cardio, 310 pounds. All right. So yesterday, which is like a week and a half, let's say 10 days out of Arnold Classic, which is basically his weight that's going to be on stage. He's not going to go down that much. And this weight was taken after cardio, and I'm assuming it's fasted cardio. So that's basically the day, the time of the day where he's going to be the lightest. So at that point, when he's the lightest, he was freaking 310 pounds. And based on these photos that we saw, he's in great condition right now. So right now, we know two things about Big Ramy. He's going to be big, he's going to be huge, if it is true about his weight, but I believe that. Why wouldn't I? I don't know about the dance, I don't know about uh, the 20% improvement in, in triceps and the back, but as far as weight, I believe that. And I can see that he's in great condition, as he was at the Mr. Olympia. Maybe he was holding some water uh, in that stomach area, but overall, he was in great condition. His glutes were shredded. So if he brings that same condition and he's bigger 310 pounds after cardio and if what chad is saying is true if his back is 20 percent better his triceps are 20 percent better and his quads those dents in them are gone or at least significantly improved then big ram is a threat to win the arnold classic for sure he will without a doubt be bigger than he's been ever since i've been training him for sure and he looks better because actually his waist is basically the same size as it was. Just everything else is more exaggerated. So he is coming bigger than ever. I like that. I think that's a good strategy for Big Ramy. I mean, he is Big Ramy after all. At this point of the interview, Chad really goes in depth uh, about what happened, what went wrong for the Mr. Olympia stage. As Chad says, there was a whole bunch of problems. Everything went wrong. And one of the things that he says is that Big Ramy wasn't able to go to the bathroom for like couple of days before the show and they were they were doing laxatives and they weren't sure whether to use diuretics or not so that was one of the issues so yes there were injuries there were problems with his muscles some of them are fixed some of them are somewhat fixed but there was also the problem of peaking and uh, here's what chad says about that what big Ramy looked like on stage he was you know watery he was flat um, especially like, you know, Terry, the, through the midsection, like he, you would see him, he would have to really like crunch down on those abs to even get them to pop out. And, you know, like they would just kind of wash out in a lot of his shots, especially as he transitioned um, because he, he was flat and uh, just, you know, a little bit watery. 
Check it out, right here, in the transition, exactly what Chad said, look at his stomach, yeah, he was definitely watery, he was lean, but he was watery, and that was definitely one of the issues, and I'm sure you can also see that he was flat, you could see that in the arms, in the legs, also in the back, overall he could have been better if he peaked better, even though the injuries were present. So finally, two and a half months after the Mr. Olympia, Chad Nichols acknowledged all these issues that Big Remy had, what he said is basically his legs are now much much better and his triceps and his back are a little bit improved because of the stem cells, he is aware that there are injuries, that there are issues about his physique, I didn't play the part in the video where Chad says, is Big Remy gonna be as good as he was once at his absolute best when he was younger? And Chad says no, because Big Remy is older now, and of course he's not gonna look uh, at his absolute best, but he can fix some issues, and if he peaks better, if he's not uh, watery, if he's full, and he's a little bit bigger, as he says, 310 pounds after cardio, then it's gonna be overall a better package and maybe he's gonna be up there in the top mix at the Arnold. Do I see him winning, beating Nick Walker? I don't think so. Do I see him beating Samson again as he did at Mr. Olympia? I mean, if he's actually that much improved as Chad says, then sure, I guess, but I wouldn't bet on it, I don't think so, again, in my prediction, unofficial prediction, I haven't really made a video yet, I'm about to, uh, I have Big Ramy potentially in 6th, after hearing this, I might have him a spot or two higher, if Andrew Jack is not like really really improved in that back and those hamstrings, and let's say Sean Clarida just can't handle Big Remy's weight size, then yeah, I could see Big Remy in third best case scenario, but I think Samson and Nick are definitely gonna beat Big Remy at the Arnold Classic, That I'm pretty sure about that. Now, we're gonna see in about a week and a half from now, you guys know now what went wrong and what can be changed about Big Remy for the Arnold Classic and for the Mr. Olympia later in the year, so tell me based on this, what are your predictions and do you believe that this is true what Chad is saying and what do you think is the future of Big Remy? Whatever your thoughts are, make sure to let me know down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and for more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel guys. Thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye bye.